Hello everyone, welcome to my channel in School of Physics. Guys, I'm Nitin here, and today I have come with a problem from Pathfinder. I have slightly modified it, and it is heat generated in an expanding film. So, guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and An Academy together. And uh, name of this problem is heat generated in expanding soap film. Guys, my current courses on An Academy are course of NPHO Foundation and for JE Advanced 2023. There is another course uh, of Emerge for JE 2023. In one of the batch, uh, Emerge uh, Kinematics will be starting and on uh, in NPHO Foundation will be starting Circular Motion and uh, Work Power Energy. Advanced Problem Solving Course for uh, JE Advanced 2021 is going on. Currently, in, we are in Phase 2. In Phase 3, will be starting from 15th of July. And uh, Advanced Course for JE 2022 is uh, also currently going on. And we are doing Current Electricity at present. Course on Rotational Mechanics has, is already going on. It started on first week of June. So you can access my theory courses which are of advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation. You can unlock these courses on Unacademy using my code Nathan sir. And uh, for more info you can visit www.unacademy.com And guys trust me physics will never be the same again. So it is the problem statement. When a film of uh, soap solution is created inside a loop formed by a rectangular uh, wireframe and in extensible light thread AB of length L. The thread assumes a shape of a semicircle by pulling the midpoint of the thread with a force F. The thread can be given shape of two semicircles as shown in the figure. Uh, find the surface tension of soap, uh, solution. So this is the situation given. I have added uh, two parts in this. One is uh, find the ratio of initial to final tension in the thread. Also calculate the heat generated in the process. So heat generated part is uh, pretty good. Uh, so let's discuss this uh, problem the concept part here force due to surface tension will be acting perpendicular to the thread we already know that and uh, and the tension in the thread will be uniform the net force on the thread uh, will be zero uh, as the thread is at rest right if you take any small part of the thread uh, you will find uh, the net force is going to be zero that means surface tension force and tension in the string or tension in the thread will be balancing each other so since length of the thread is given so initial this uh, radius of the circle uh, is r so pi r is l and now if you draw the free body diagram of this so this is the initial tension in the string ts1 i'm writing so this ts1 is going to be surface tension force as we know whatever curve shape you take it will be exactly equal to this length so here directly i can use this uh, result uh, that uh, surface tension force on one surface is uh, T into this distance that is 2R and there are two such surfaces so first balancing equation is going to give me 2TS1 is equal to 2 times T into 2R so initial tension in the string is uh, 2TR uh, we'll use this uh, later on similarly here when we are pulling uh, the midpoint of the thread uh, with the force F so this point is going from here to here and making uh, two semicircles, right? So now the tension in the string is TS2 and TS2 and the same tension uh, will be acting at this point also because this uh, tension in the thread must be same. So here TS2 and TS2, these two forces will be acting and uh, the surface tension force on the film I can write as uh, T times too small r we have to take this much length and similarly here also t into 2r but there are two surfaces so we'll multiply by a factor of 2 and now length wise i can write this 2 pi r is equal to l and l is pi r so i can have a relation between small r and capital r as well so from here you can see uh, the force f i'm just balancing the forces net force upward is equal to force due to surface tension which is uh, f plus 2 ts2 is equal to 8 tr and uh, here uh, we have another relation f is equal to 2 ts2 now after using this i can get uh, in terms of uh, capital r uh, this i can write 2f and that will become 8t into capital r by 2 so f is coming as uh, t into 2r and where r is l by pi so if i substitute this value i am getting surface tension value as pi f by 2 and this is the answer for first part now here uh, for the second one tension the string initially i can write as uh, f because uh, 
it is 2TR and 2TR value we have seen here uh, that was uh, F. So initial tension in the string is F and uh, finally this tension becomes uh, F by 2. Uh, you can check uh, in this relation. All right. So this ratio is going to be TS1 divided by TS2. It is going to be 2. Now heat generation part. Uh, initial surface energy plus external uh, work done by the external force uh, and this will become available energy and one part of this energy will be stored in the film so that is surface energy of film plus heat generated so initially let's say uh, this film it's a rectangle of uh, area uh, B into H in that if I remove this semicircle area uh, I can write uh, T into BH minus pi R square by 2. This is for one surface. There are two such surfaces. Plus, uh, shift of this uh, point is R. So, work done by this force is F into R. Similarly, finally, this surface energy will become BH minus area of two semicircles. Right? So, 2 times pi R square by 2 if I remove. Uh, this is going to the final surface energy plus remaining will be in the form of heat. So uh, I'm going to get this BH will get cancelled. We don't need uh, these values. So any area you can take but uh, we need a small R and capital R. So I'm not explaining this uh, calculation. You can do that. And finally we are going to get uh, FR times 1 minus pi by 4. R is L by pi. So I can write this uh, value heat generated comes as FL times 1 by pi minus 1 by 4. This is going to be the final answer for this problem. See, normally the mistake students do is uh, they will forget the work done by this external agent, this force F, because uh, in surface tension problems, we are so habitual to write uh, heat generated is equal to uh, change in surface air area. I give this problem to some of my students and many of them uh, did the same mistake. So it's most likely uh, such kind of mistake you can also make. So this is uh, it guys. If you have enjoyed this problem, please leave a like, share this video with others. And if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please subscribe it. I'll be coming up very soon with another amazing problem. Thank you. Thanks for watching it.